what came up for me was that I wouldn't be special anymore. Mm. People wouldn't open the doors for me because I have this age old feeling that the pretty slim, and I'm sorry for all the pretty slim blonde people in the room, but they always get- It's the okay, door. I'm not offended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they always got the door opened yeah. or um, helped. And I was always the jockey, I could, I self-sufficient person. So it's been kind of nice that mm. people defer to me all, um, and that I wouldn't be able to hide at home and use it as an excuse for not going out and dancing. Because mm. right now, that's my excuse. So it's not safe to go out and dance. And why don't you want to go out and dance? Because people don't ask me to dance. Mm. And so I just feel like a uh, you know, junior high wallflower mm. again. And uh, it's, it's, and my partner, we met dancing, we've lived together for 10 years, and he, he and I have this constant argument that I think it's harder for a follower to sit there and wait to be asked, and he thinks it's harder for a leader because it's hard to ask and get rejected. And so um, it, it's just a real emotional thing, very emotional thing. You want to tap on it? I told my daughter I would raise my hand. <laughs> Tell me about the pain in your body. Uh, it's my hip. Okay. And then um, sometimes it goes down to my knee uh, and the muscles in between. Okay. Um, <laughs> but over the last day and a half, uh, my arm, my shoulder is starting to hurt, and just up here, my back of my head started to hurt. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see if you can get the refund forms going <laughs> over there. I think we're in trouble here. <laughs> What's the pain right now, zero to 10? Um, when I'm sitting, it's, mm, it depends on if I can make it go up. Um, three, three. And remind me of your downside to letting go of the pain. Um, I won't be special anymore. People won't help me. Um, Tell me about choose me. dancing or not dancing. Yeah, I would have to. Uh, <coughs> put myself out there and, and um, figure out what or, or live with why people won't ask me to dance. I know it sounds silly. But no, it does. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. And, uh, and I've talked to, uh, uh, in our community, we, um, I belong to a tango community. Mm -hmm. And so it's really defined as male and female roles. And, um, and I like that because dancing allows me to be feminine, where in all my other roles, I'm the uh, breadwinner, the go-to person, responsible person. So it's nice to be the soft, you know. And um, there, a lot of, the, the major percentage of dance, tango dancers are female. So there's very few men and um, so the odds are against you anyway. Uh, and there is a, 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 I could learn to be a leader. I mean, it's not defined that you have to be a man to be a leader. But I don't want to do that because I do that in the rest of my life. This is supposed to be an escape. And um, so, uh, you know, I've gained weight so that I could use that as an excuse. People, uh, now I'm older. So I can try to use that as an excuse. Um, what's really hard is just that they don't like me. And that's really hard. How do you know they don't like you? Because they don't pick me. I mean, there has to be a reason. And so. Uh, when did this start happening in your life? Oh, early on. That, that people didn't, that people chose other people? 
when I was really young. Give me your first memory. Um, it probably, I mean, I, I like to go to blaming my father because it's such an easy one um, because uh, I was a middle child and I have an older brother and a younger sister. And my younger sister got attention because she was sick a lot and uh, she was younger and so she needed more help. Um, and I just remember there was a time when, um, you know, you get to a certain age and my father didn't demonstrate he never hugged us or told us he loved us, or, but we knew it, and he joked with us. That's how he showed it, he loved us. And um, there was a point when, um, and I still have the picture, where we both were sitting on his lap. But, and I'm sure it's because I got a certain age, but he, I couldn't sit on his lap anymore, that it just wasn't, either I was too big or I think now, maybe I was too old, or I always took it that I was too fat and too big. And so, and, and she was young and, and cutesy, and so she deserved to get his attention. How do you feel when you, let me just start tapping on the eyebrow point, how do you feel when you think about this? Uh, sad and rejected. And, uh, Where do you feel that in your body? Um, my leg is bouncing. It does that when I, I hasn't done that for quite a while, but when I get really nervous, it bounces. Uh, and there's a tightness in my throat. Uh, and there is this constant, no matter how much I've tapped and, and try to get rid of it, there's a, a, a tightness in my stomach that I just, I just can't get rid of it. Just even when I'm feeling good, it's there saying this isn't going to last. You know, to remind me that protect myself. Zero to ten. How tight is your stomach right now? Oh, it's nine. So see that picture. This memory starts with a picture that you saw later. Yeah. See it in front of you right now. And what is that picture saying to you? that I'm not whatever, that I'm not good enough or that I don't deserve to get my dad's love, that I'm not special enough, that I'm not, um, yeah, that I'm not good enough. I'm, um, I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Stay with that picture. What do you feel in your body right now? A lot of tension. Uh, <laughs> I just can't stop shaking. I just, I, I, I don't like being in the spot. I don't want to be there. Uh, like the other lady said yesterday, I just, I, I really would like to run away and hide. It's really painful. Shaking's okay. Let it shake. Let the body shake. All this fear in my body. All this fear in my body. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. Under the eye. This picture. This picture. Under the nose. This terrible memory. This terrible memory. Under the mouth. He didn't love me. He didn't love me. All bone. He didn't choose me. He didn't choose me. Under the arm. He didn't choose me. He didn't choose me. Top of the head, and that hurts so much. And that hurts so much. Side of the hand, even though he didn't choose me. Even though he didn't choose me. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply completely love and accept myself. Even though he didn't choose me. Even though he didn't choose me. I choose to choose myself now. I choose to choose myself now. Even though he didn't choose me. Even though he didn't choose me. I choose to choose myself now. I choose to choose myself now. Eyebrow, he didn't choose me. He didn't choose me. Side of the eye, this picture. This picture. 
Under the eye, this trauma. This trauma. Under the nose, this picture. This picture. Under the mouth, he didn't choose me. He didn't choose me. Collarbone, that hurts so much. That hurts so much. Under the arm, and I'm so angry about it. And I'm so angry about it. Top of the head, I'm so angry about it. I'm so angry about it. I brought this rage. This rage. Side of the eye, this rage towards my father. This rage towards my father. Under the eye, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Under the nose, I'm furious. I'm furious. Under the mouth, there's fury in my body. There's fury in my body. Collarbone, why didn't he pick me? Why didn't he pick me? Under the arm, why didn't he pick me? Why didn't he pick me? Top of the head, I am good enough. I am good enough. Eyebrow, I am good enough, Dad. I am good enough, Dad. Dad, I am good enough. Dad, I am good enough. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. All this anger. All this anger. Under the mouth, all this rage. All this rage. Collarbone, it's not fair. It's not fair. Under the arm, it's not fair. It's not fair. Top of the head, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Eyebrow. <sighs> Tell me about the anger. In my family, you, you can't show anger. Okay, show it now. No, it's, it's, you, no. It's not safe to show anger. No. <laughs> Under the nose, I'm not showing anger. I'm not showing an anger. Under the mouth, I refuse to. I refuse to. Collarbone, because I don't feel safe. Because I don't feel safe. Under the arm, I don't feel safe showing anger. I don't feel safe showing anger. Top of the head, I choose to feel safe now. I choose to feel safe now. Eyebrow, my right pinky toe is safe. My right pinky toe is safe. Out of the eye, it's safe for my right pinky toe. It's safe, safe for my right pinky toe. Under the eye to show anger. To show anger. Under the nose, my right pinky toe is pissed. My right pinky toe is pissed. Under the mouth, and it's going to say something. And it's going to say something. Collarbone, it's got a few things on its mind. It's got a few things on its mind. Under the arm, my right pinky toe is pissed. <laughs> Top of the head, my right pinky toe. Eyebrow has a few things to say to my dad. Side of the eye. Only from your right pinky toe. Only from my right pinky toe. All right. What does it say? What does your right pinky toe say to your dad? <laughs> does your right pinky toe have like a squeaky voice? Or is it like strong and powerful? Hello. <laughs> I am. Keep tapping. You got this. I am your right <laughs> pinky toe. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> what your right pinky toe would say is bad? Yeah. Okay, so you don't have to say it out loud. Just have it think it for a second. Just have your right pinky toe think it. Your right pinky toe doesn't have to say it to your dad. Have it say it to you first. Oh, I can't say that to me. <laughs> no, but it's just telling you. You're not <laughs> saying it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not. Just telling you. Your right okay. pinky toe is telling you. Yeah. Yeah. And now have your right pinky toe whisper it to me. Nobody else is listening. What is it going to tell you? Just, just whisper to me what it would say to your dad. We're not saying it to your dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. I am worth it. Mm. Can I say it? Uh, will lightning bolts and stuff come down? Or? <laughs> Can anyone have protect from lightning <laughs> bolts? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it over here. That way, if it hits me. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Is it safe over here? Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. I am worth it. I am worth it. And then Pinky Toe said that. It really did. She, that's what she said to me. 
I am worth it. 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 Here, come over here. It's pretty safe over here. I just tried it. <laughs> Keep tapping. Stand up strong. I can't one leg shorter. It's okay. Do you want your cane? Do you want no, your cane? I, I can do without it sometimes. I am worth it. I am worth it. I am worth it. I am worth it. Dad, 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 I am worth it. Under the mouth, and I feel that in every cell of my body. And I feel that in every cell of my body. How about it's time to take this power back? It's time to take this power back. Under the arm from all these memories. From all these memories. From all this trauma. I brought from all this fear. From all this fear. So out of the eye, I want you to imagine actually pulling as if there was energy that had gone out all over the place, and you just imagine pulling it back. All right, so pull it back from the past. Do whatever you need to do visually. If it means you need to cut a cord with the memory, if all of a sudden that power comes rushing back in, the power that says I am worth it and no one can tell me otherwise. I am worth it. I am worth it. The whole of me is worth it. The whole of me is worth it. Every cell in my body is worth it. Every cell in my body is worth it. I am worth it. I am worth it. I am worth it. Start of the eye. I am worth it. I am worth it. Sorry to say this. Sorry to say this. But fuck you, Dad. But fuck you, Dad. I'm angry. I'm angry. And I have a right to be. And I have a right to be. You caused me so much pain. You caused me so much pain. But now it's time. But now it's time. To release this anger. To release this anger. It's time to let it go. Time to let it go. It's enough. It's enough. It's time to release this anger. It's time to release this anger. From every cell in my body. From every cell in my body. Collarbone, it's time to release this anger. It's time to release this anger. The arm from every cell in my body. From every cell in my body. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting all this anger go. Letting all this anger go. Right now. Right now. Under the eye. Letting all this anger go. Letting all this anger go. Who knows right now? Right now. Dad, you had no clue what you were doing. You had no clue what you were doing. Collarbone, you were pretty clueless. You were pretty clueless. Under the arm, and since you were. And since you were. My pinky toe is going to start forgiving you. My pinky toe is going to start forgiving you. Eyebrow, not the rest of me yet. Not the rest of me yet. But my pinky toe will. But my pinky toe will. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels good. Can your pinky toe forgive your dad? Yeah. A little it, bit. No, it can't. I mean, I forgive him. Okay. It's my reaction to what he did more than what he did. I mean, I know that. But on one level, my pinky toe might know that. Yeah, your pinky toe knows it fully. Yeah, he knows that. Part of me chooses to forgive him. Part of me chooses to forgive him. Part of me chooses to forgive my dad. Part of me chooses to forgive my dad. And release this memory. And release this memory. I brought this picture. This picture. That has haunted me for so long. It's haunted me for so long. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. I choose to release this picture. I choose to release this picture. That has haunted me for so long. That has haunted me for so long. Just bring that picture up in your mind's eye. How does it feel when you see it? Charge is gone. The emotional charge is gone. I think we're losing your mic in there. Can you see where it's gone? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, the other side? Oh, there it is. Oh, this okay. little thing? Yeah, that little thing. There we go. Got it small. 
Okay, like right. movie star. So the emotional charge is gone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not shaky. Okay. How's your body right now? How's the pain? Um, I was able to uh, tense my muscles that I haven't been able to tense. Okay. Um, but the, the actual pain is still there. Okay. And the stomach, that clenching? It's probably like a three or four. Three or four? And it's usually what? Eight, nine, or ten? Yeah. Kay. Yeah, usually seven. Kay. I mean, it's always there. Kay. Eyebrow. Standing up strong. I am worth it. I am worth it. It's out of the eye, and I'm going to tell all these people. And I'm going to tell all these people. I forgot they were there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I am worth it. I am worth it. In every cell of my body. Every cell of my body. I know I'm worth it. I know I'm worth it. Collarbone. In every cell of my body. In every cell of my body. Under the arm. I know I'm worth it. I know I'm worth it. Top of the head. Feeling worthy now. Feeling worthy now. Deep breath. How does that feel? Better. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. A round of applause. Oh. Al. Alex, can you just run up here for one second? One quick thing. We're going to take a break in just a minute. Good? All right. You'll find out later. <laughs> Go play it. He knows how to dance tango, I don't, so. I came, I, I forced myself to come, um, and I told my daughter when I left home that I'd raise my hand, and um, when Nick was asking questions on the second day, 
I thought I would just get away with raising my hand and talking, you know, just telling him something. But I had to go up on stage. I got to go up on stage. And um, it was terrifying. It was terrifying to be up there and to bear my soul to other people. But after listening to, the, to everyone else and then Nick just takes you through it and you forget there's people out there and it's just you and him and you're working on these issues and he's so compassionate and he's so kind and intuitive and he knew when to press and when to back off, how to help bring things out. It was incredible. It was incredible. So at one point, Nick looked or said something to Alex, and then he was wrapping it up. I don't know the exact sequence, but he was wrapping it up, and he told us to just stay there. And then I heard the music started, and I saw Alex come walking down the aisle towards the stage, and I'm thinking, oh, no. They couldn't be doing this, you know, this is, and I, and I didn't know how I could do it. I didn't know how I was going to say no. Um, and, um, and then Alex reached his hand out and asked me to dance and was, it was the most amazing, wonderful, transformative, transformative experience of, of my life. One of the, the few that, that I'm going to be able to go to to tell me that I could do it. And Alex was a great dancer, and he was supportive, and he was caring. And it, and, and it just, at one point, it felt like I was in the zone, and, and I put my leg back, and all I could hear was the music and, and be in the moment. And I put my weight on that foot, and it didn't collapse. It was solid. So now I know I can do it. Um, and now I have uh, confidence to go forward and continue with my tapping because I, I haven't cleared up all the issues yet, but I'm going to be able to get over this. I know now that I can get over it. It's not a hope. It's not a dream. It's a reality. I'm going to be able to do it. It not only helps with the pain, but it helps with all issues that we've had, that I had over the years that it built up that formed my life. And I think it opens up so many possibilities to what life has to, to offer now.